All right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So if this is your first time on my channel, then maybe you haven't seen the new setup, but voila, we are working out of the new studio setup that we've been taking some time to kind of put together. So if you see a few things that are still kind of maybe crooked or maybe out of the shot, bear with me because I'm still working out the logistics on this and some camera angles as well as the brand new podcast setup. Now again, if this is your first time on my channel or if maybe you've been on here before and you've seen some of my videos or if you are one of my subscribers, then welcome back because today we have yet another credit card review specifically for building your business credits, whether you have an established business or if you are a brand new startup, then you are going to find value in this video. First things first, when it comes to this card right here, there's gonna be a few things that I want you to know about the card, a few things that you wanna pay attention to in terms of uh, what it has to offer, how it works, and who's uh, who's most likely going to qualify. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the back end and actually take a look at what that application looks like so that you can kind of prepare yourself. And by the way, you can find the link to all of that down in the description. So first things first, when it comes to this card, this is known as the Divi card. Now, Divi has been around for some time now. They're known more as, are they're known more in the fintech space. Now with Divi, I kind of want you to think of this. Yes, you get a business line of credit, and yes, this is going to report to the uh, B uh, Business Bureau credit, which is going to be your Dunn and Bradstreet, which is a fantastic thing, especially if you're looking to build your business credit, kind of like what we mentioned earlier, where if you don't have any type of established credit just yet, then you still might be able to qualify. But one of the reasons that I like this is because you can set up virtual cards. So let's say if you have employees or let's say that if you have some partners in your business with this corporate card, I want you to think of this as something that you can kind of run a uh, kind of run a streamlined process because they have their own built in software for you to be able to kind of watch your revenue, uh, watch your expenses and watch who's been spending what where. So this is an all in platform, which you also get access to when you get access to the card, which in my opinion, Opinion, it's a win-win, especially if you are possibly running your own books, or if maybe you have a team member that's helping you run the books, you can kind of delegate this off over to them. Now let's segue into who can actually qualify for this card and how much you can qualify for. So you can qualify for up to $500,000. That's right. That's half a million dollars. Now, obviously that's going to possibly go toward more someone that maybe has an established business. So maybe someone already has the corp set up, the LLC has employees, already has at least a two year trajectory that they've run, uh, been running and that can show in their books that they've actually been able to remain profitable in their business. But in this application, which we're gonna break down here in just a second, you'll see that even if you're a sole prop, you still may be able to qualify. And then if you have the LLC or if you have the S Corp or any other type of corp and actual entity set up, then you'll have access to the actual corporate card that you can use and again, delegate if you wanted to have that virtual card. Now, the funding in terms of who qualifies, keep this in mind, you are going to have to show that you've been in business or at least operating for at least six months. If you've been in business for at least 12 months, that's going to improve the odds that you get to get a higher uh, credit limit. The cool thing about this product though that I like is that if you don't have any business credit and maybe you only have your personal credit, they are going to be giving you a non-PG, meaning you're not gonna, it's, it's going to be a non-personal guarantee, which removes the liability for you. Again, this is assuming you're applying through your LLC or through some type of business entity, but you still haven't established your credit. They're going to be pulling from Experian, but when I say pulling, they're not necessarily going to give you a hard pull, so you're not going to see any type of hard inquiries on your credit report. You're actually only going to have a soft pull. Now, if you're wondering, okay, how can they actually approve me if there's no credit checks being done? It's going to be done, that work is going to be done in the underwriting process on the back end because that's where they're going to take a look at your financials. So they're going to see if you've been, uh, been remaining profitable, how many employees you have, um, how many, what, what's your cost of service, uh, your revenue, and then you're obviously going to connect your bank account so that they can kind of streamline and take a look at that process to make sure that obviously your numbers match up to what you're reporting on the application. Now, if you're wondering about rewards, I do want to take you right into the Divi website, which they pretty much give you three different type of layouts that you can choose from when it comes to your rewards. As you can see here, if you're going on a weekly on a weekly plan, that you're going to be able to 7x your rewards for things like restaurants, you're going to be able to 5x on your hotels, and then one and a half on everything else. If let's say you take a look at a semi-monthly type of structure where you're, may, where you're maybe making those purchases or those payments, 
um, on a monthly type of basis or semi-monthly type of basis. And obviously this is kind of going to come down to maybe a four X, a three X, or even a one X. And then if you're going to a monthly type of program with them or type of payment structure, then that's going to come down to a two times, uh, two times for the whole, two times for the restaurants, two times for the hotels, and then one and a half times for things like monthly uh, recurring subscriptions and things like that. So if you're kind of wondering of how 100,000 points actually breaks down, you can see right here, that's 1,000 in travel, that's 510 in gift cards, that's 490 in statement credit, and 520 in cash back, which all in all, it's a pretty good card for what you get in considering uh, the entry level that it is, not only for you to be able to build credit, but also it not being a, or not having a PG attached to your name. Now these are some of the partnerships that they have. So if you have access to the card, you can expect to get discounts on things like Google Ads, Adobe, Lyft, Vista Print, Avis Car Rental, Enterprise, um, even Grubhub, which I think is pretty cool. Again, if you have already a business established or if you already have a couple of partners or employees, then this is definitely a card that I would definitely be at least considering or taking a look at. If you're looking to apply, you can find the link to that in the description and follow along. One thing that I do want you to know is that you can accept, deny, or counter any offer that you get assuming you've been approved. What that means is let's say if you applied for the card and you get approved for a $20,000 uh, uh, credit limit, you can then counter it and say, hey, look, I like at least 35,000 or I would like to counter at 45,000. They're going to come back to you with either a counter offer or with that same offer. So it's all going to be a case by case scenario, but I at least wanted you to know that those are some options that you do have. So we are in the application. And again, you can find the link to that down in the description. It's going to ask you for your email, which you are going to fill out right here. So in this section right here, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to ask you for your legal business name. So even if you're doing business as, that's going to go there. Or if it's an LLC, let's say it's Home Repairs LLC, that's going to go in that legal business name section. Obviously your first name, your last name, number of full-time employees, your phone number, the email. So you just want to confirm the, the email that you submitted before you got to this page, make sure it's the same one because it's going to send the actual application to that email. And then one thing that I wanted to point out was for entity type, I want to show you the difference here because this is important. If let's say you are an LLC, it's going to just allow you to submit this and then it's going to send you that um, it's going to send you a code over to your email, which, which is where you're, you're going to have access to the application. But if let's say you go ahead and do a sole prop on the sole prop, this is why I wanted to point this out. Sole proprietorship entities are only eligible for prepaid, for prepaid credit. Kind of like what we, what we mentioned earlier in the video. This means that your Divi credit limit will be determined by the amount that you deposit into your Divi accounts prior to spending kind of like a charge card or in this case a prepaid card so uh think of it like a secured card if you're thinking of it kind of like a uh personal line of credit where you're only going to have access to five thousand dollars assuming that's how much you deposit but i did want to point that out so that so you so that you kind of know what you're getting yourself into as you're applying for this card so there you have it i think that divi overall is definitely a good product especially if you're starting out uh, again, as a startup, you can still qualify for this card since they are going to go off of your Experian. And again, that's based off of a soft pull, non-PG. But if you do have maybe an established LLC and you've already been running uh, and streamlining your business accounts through there, then the odds of you getting approved for a higher amount, again, it's up to that $500,000 threshold, but the odds of you getting a, a approved for that 50, $100,000, $200,000 line of credit, not just a prepaid account, is obviously going to be significantly higher if you have all of those documents ready to go. So there you guys have it. If you found value in this content, consider subscribing and joining the official community. Don't forget that anytime we're not posting on here, we are posting over on the Inside with Irv, uh, over on the Inside with Irv show, which is our podcast style channel. So if you like what we have going on over here, you'll love what we have going on over there. Once again, I appreciate you guys checking us out. Until next time, everyone, I will see you in the next video.